Only child, Zhang Jiayi. An only child, Wu Wan. Marry and have their only child, Qi Qi. A typical family in China today. But they would love to give Qi Qi a little brother or sister. For our generation, in most cases, both parents worked. And during vacation, you end up alone at home with the house key around your neck and lonely. No one to play with. China's one child policy, 30 years of it, and now well over 200 million kids have no siblings. And there are fewer and fewer young workers to keep the country going. Expectations are rising that China's new leadership will move away from the infamous one child policy. Demographers have been calling for further loosening for years now to slow down the rapid aging of the nation. China introduced the one child policy in 1979, but has been watering it down over the years. Farmers can have a second child if the first is a girl. If both parents are only children like Zhang and Wu, they can also have two. So what happens if a two-child policy kicks in? Economist Stephen Green. Maybe a mini boom, but not a big one. Even if you give people the freedom, many people will still choose to have one child. Um, you'll get a few people giving birth to two kids, but it won't be anything crazy. Despite more lax controls in the countryside, the one-child policy has been very effective, literally cutting the country's birth rate in half in the last 30 years. Some of that simply because of the high cost of raising a child in China, especially in the big cities. Shanghai, for example, has one of the lowest birth rates in China. For our one-child couple, Zhang and Wu, the decision to have a second isn't easy. Children are a big burden. You need to consider your salary and you need to see what kind of child you already have. Are they well-behaved or not? Badly behaved or not, China needs more children. But a two-child policy, even if it does come, may be too late to reverse China's slide into old age.